Thank you. You're welcome. Jesus Christ is Lord. Give your life to the Lord, my friends. Life is but a vapor of time, and in the judgment, God commands all men and women everywhere to repent. There's coming a day when God's going to judge this world in righteousness. I'm just here to warn you, man. Life is but a vapor of time. No man is good. Only God is good. Seek the Lord and you shall find Him. Call upon Him while He is near. The Lord is near today, my friends. You're not promised tomorrow. Give your life to the Lord before that time runs out. There's a day called Judgment Day coming. You got to get ready. How do you get ready? You give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and you start obeying His gospel. You turn from your sins. You repent. The Bible says, if you don't repent, you will perish. If you choose your sin over God, you're going to perish. You got to make a free will choice whom you're going to serve today. Are you going to serve the Lord? Or are you going to serve the things of this world? Are you going to serve your flesh? The Bible says you must deny yourself and pick up your cross and follow the Lord. God put His laws on your heart. You give your conscience so you know the, what's right and wrong. You'll have no excuse on the day of judgment, my friends. Obey. Pick up the Word of God. The King James Bible. English. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God, my friends. And is profitable for doctrine, for correction and reproof and righteousness. Holy men not sinful men were under the inspiration of God when they spoke and when they wrote the Word of God down. It's all God-breathed, God-inspired. The Word of God, the Bible, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. The Word of God is magnified above all things. There's nothing higher than the Word of God, the Bible, the King James Bible. There's nothing below the Word of God. The Word of God is magnified. It is living. Jesus Christ is the Word that became flesh and dwelt among us. Folks, give your life to the Lord. There's coming a day when every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You got the breath of life. You should bow the knee to the Lord today and confess Him. Live a holy life. The Bible says without holiness no man will see God. If you're not living holy, you're not going to see God. My friends, time is running out. I don't want you to perish. I want you to give your life to the Lord. That's why you were created. You were created in God's image. And you were created for God's glory. So glorify God because time is running out, my friends. Draw nigh to God and He will draw nigh to you. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Let your laughter return to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, my friends, and he'll lift you up. You gotta deny the things of this world. Friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. James 4.4, 4, adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. Jesus Christ came down from heaven. The Father emptied Himself of His glory and become a man. He spread His arms on that cross for you and me. That our sins, our hate, our, that those things in our life that separate us from God hung Him on the cross so He could set you free from your sin. Not to set you free in your sin, but to set you free from your sin. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Christ can be your strength today if you give your life to Him. You got to draw an eye unto God though. You got to obey His gospel. The Bible says to go and sin no more, to repent or you will perish. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't be deceived, my friends. If you're living in sin, you're unrighteous. If you're living in sin, you're unrighteous and no unrighteous person has any inheritance in God's kingdom. 
but you can change. It's a free will choice to choose whom you're going to serve. If you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit will come and dwell in you, and you'll become a new man, a new creature. God will give you a new heart of flesh, take that heart of stone, make you love again, true love, love to repent and obey the gospel, to love your neighbor, to love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, my friends. Today's the day of salvation. Stop playing games with your soul. You don't know when your last day is going to be, when your last breath's going to be. Obey the Gospels today, my friends. Without holiness, no man will see God. Repent. Repent or you will perish. Warning, my friends. This is a warning. Your life is but a vapor and then the judgment. Holy, holy, holy is our great God. Be holy, be righteous. The Bible commands it, my friends. Draw nigh to God and He will draw nigh to you. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, my friends, but that the world through Him might be saved. Friends, this world is condemned because of sin, but Jesus Christ came to set you free. You don't have to live in sin. You don't have to live for the world. Live for the Lord. You're created in His image. You're created for His glory. That's why when you sin, you feel guilty. That's why when you sin, you know you did something wrong. It's because you're created in God's image. God. You're created in God's image. Man falls short of the glory of God. But you can get back with the Lord by giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And open the word of God and obey the word. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God alone. There's no other word under heaven that can save you. The Word of God, the Bible, the King James Bible is the Word of God. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God. Every last bit of it, Genesis to Revelation, is the Word of God. It is all God-breathed. It is all God-inspired. Pick up the Word of God today, my friends. You are created in the image of God and for His glory. Stop living for the world. Friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. If you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. Adulterers and adulteresses. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, if you're a friend of the world, my friends, you're an enemy of God. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God and the salvation to them that believe, to the Jew first, and then to the Greek, he who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them alike are an abomination unto the Lord. Are you justifying the wickedness of this world today? Are you saying it's okay to be gay? Are you saying it's okay to be a drunkard or a pothead or a cigarette smoker or vaping? You're justifying the wicked, even if you don't do it yourself. God is angry with the wicked every day. Psalms 5 5. God is angry with the wicked every day. God hates all workers of iniquity. If you're living in sin, there's a hate. There's a hate God has coming for you. God commands all men everywhere to repent. He commands you to turn from your sins. If you're living in sin, you're just smacking God in the face. It's like cheating on your wife. It's like going to church one day a week and then you live like the devil the rest of the week. You draw into God so He will draw into you. You get your rest in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Lord of Lords and He's the King of Kings. And He is worthy of your life, my friends. So give it to Him because time is running out. Jesus Christ is the way. He is the truth. And no man will go to the Father except through the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. Jesus Christ is God who emptied himself of his glory and become a man. Why? Because somebody had to shed their blood for you and me. And who else is better to do that than God himself? Who do we keep time to? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the complete fullness of the Godhead, my friends. So give it to him because time is running out. And this might be your last warning. Warning. Life is but a vapor of time and in the judgment.